question that comes up, have you ever been convicted of a felony? Sometimes they'll say five years, 10 years, or ever. And there's two boxes. One says yes, one says no. And you're supposed to check one of those. Well, there's legislation that has actually been passed right now in Philadelphia and in many other states surrounding this area, which actually has been done to ban that box, to take that question off of the application. Why do you think that is done? They're trying to hide something from the employer? Trying to you know, keep, be deceptive, keep something from them? No. The reason is they want you to get an interview. It has been noted that many people that say yes to that question that their application never moves forward so that they get called for an interview. See, the interview is really where you sell yourself. That's really where you are going to talk about the positive aspects of your life. And even if you had some negative history, the interview is hopefully where you're going to rehabilitate that. So legislatures, People that are involved with employment felt that it's important to at least get the applicant in front of the interviewer. Give the applicant an opportunity to promote himself. Look, when you walk into that interview, you know, you are doing a selling job. You're selling yourself to the employer. Your body language, how you look at them, how you act, how you talk. These are all things that you have to do in a positive way. So it was important to get you to the interview. Now, that doesn't mean that that question doesn't get asked. I don't want you to think it's never going to come up again. No, it's going to come up because at the interview, the employer is allowed to ask that question. But at least you'll have an opportunity to properly answer it. I want to give you an example of how you can do that okay, and fill in these gaps that we talked about. The employer says, have you ever been convicted of a crime? Is there something I should know about your past? Your answer is yes. Because you see, if you have a criminal record, it's going to come up on, on a criminal record search. So you're going to say yes. But rather than go into detail about what you did or what your past was, I want you to say, but that is not me today. I have taken steps to accept responsibility for who I am. I've taken steps to make changes in my life. And I am a much more positive, improved person than I was back then. That, that behavior no longer exists. And then what I want you to do is to try to come up with an example of how you made changes in your life, how that positive behavior was reflected in your present day life. So the whole idea of the interview, the application, is to minimize these gaps and talk about who you are today. Talk about all the positive work you've done today. That's how you fill in the gaps, by talking about what you've done. Take classes. Go to lectures. Do volunteer work. You are here to rebuild and rehabilitate your resume. You are here to show an employer that you can be an asset to his company. Being a recovering addict and being an ex-offender, I was, I was at, you know, at wit's end on how, how, how do I gain employment or who's going to hire me. Could not get a job. I was not hireable before I took the class. And I didn't know how to turn my negative background into the positive to show people that I had changed. Being 60 years young and having 30 years of experience, uh, I, I didn't really have a clue on how, how am I going to uh, present myself. And how to work my resume and to explain 
my background and the changes that I made to turn it from the negative into the positive was really, really beneficial. They can show that they were showing up, that they did follow through, even if they were not being paid for it, and that they were reporting to someone. I put in the classes that I've taken, the training that I've taken, those things to see that I wasn't sitting around doing nothing for the last couple of years, but I've been actively doing something. The important thing is to be prepared, be positive, be employed. So let's take that journey through the gateway to get and to keep that job.